In today's episode, London's smallest art gallery inside a phone box. I buy tiramisu from a phone box, and I discover London's tallest phone box. Icons of London. Well, this certainly is an iconic location of London. Piccadilly Circus with its famous advertising screens, and then there's Eros right behind me. But what other icons of London are there? Well, in short, you only need to come to one of these many souvenir kiosks that are dotted around London. These souvenir shops all sell these wonderful, iconic miniatures of famous London structures. And it's this one here I'm going to delve deep into today, the London phone box. There are some 10,000 telephone boxes in London. They are so iconic that they are a tourist attraction in their own right. About 2,300 of these are Grade 2 listed. Their designs have been slightly varied over the decades, but on the whole, their bright red colour scheme has been a constant, and it makes them easier to spot. The kiosk was designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, the K2, Kiosk 2, being his crowning glory, literally. In 2006, it was voted one of Britain's top 10 design icons. Let's go and hunt one down. So here I am at the Royal Academy, and if we just head down to the arch on the left, we're going to see a prototype of the K2. And here you have it at the Royal Academy, a prototype of the K2. And of course, give that a tap there. It's not made of iron or steel, it's made of wood, and it's in perfect condition. It stands here under this arch, protected from the elements. Okay, let's pop in and take a look around. Now, straight away, it's way bigger than the K2. You can see it is. Here you've got the three individual square type windows that run down uh, both sides of the K2, which is different from the K6. The K6 just has the rectangular oblong windows, but it's markedly bigger. Um, let's check out the phone. Yeah, we've got a dialing tone, and let's see if the phone actually works if I phone it. Um, okay, I've got my iPhone here. Got the number there, picked it up earlier. Yep, can you hear that? So this phone works. Do you remember the little miniature that I bought up the road at Piccadilly? Well, I'm going to hide it inside this K2 telephone box and the first person to come here and finds it can keep it. So if you're in London, make your way to this telephone box. I want you to take a picture of you with the miniature to show me that you found it. Send it to Secret London Pics, that's my Instagram, or Mark Munro at thesecretlondon.com, that's my email. Send me a pic. I want to see if someone finds this tiny little miniature of a K2. The K2 telephone box was too big and expensive to be used nationally. The post office, once responsible for public telephone boxes in Britain, discontinued production of the K2 kiosk in favour of other designs. Over the next two decades, the K3, K4, K5 models were designed but proved problematic in design and construction. It wasn't until the K6 model arrived in 1935 that the UK had found their forever phone box. Nowadays, you're very unlikely to see someone in a London telephone box making an actual phone call. These icons of London are more likely to be used as litter bins, public urinals or message boards for escorts calling cards. We all know that the demise of the phone box in the UK is down to one thing. Mobile phones. But something about these structures still holds dear not only to the British public, but also to millions of visitors that visit the UK every year. London is actually home to the world's most Instagrammed phone box. In 2021, with many of these boxes falling into disrepair because they were just not being used, British Telecom decided that rather than remove these iconic boxes, they would offer communities the opportunity to adopt a kiosk, and the price would be just one pound. Once adopted, the upkeep of the kiosk would be up to the new guardian, e.g. electric and lighting. 
However, the repurposing of the boxes would be the Guardian's choice. So let's go out and take a look at how people have been breathing new life into this British island. I'm here with uh, Daniele. Hey, Daniele, can you tell me how long you've been here and what sort of products you're selling? A little bit more than three years. And I'm selling mainly tiramisu. Oh, okay. Along with coffees and some street food, Italian street food like arancini, oh, and lasagna. And what's your best seller? Tiramisu. And this is all full of your tiramisu? Yeah. The different flavors. That's the classic one. Wow. That's the classic tiramisu, yeah. is it? Yeah. Now we have different flavors. While I'm here, I might as well buy a tiramisu, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. I think I Which better one? buy one. Um, I'm going to go for the classic. Cool. Where do you get your tiramisu from? I make it. Oh, you make it yourself? Yeah, yeah of course. How fantastic <laughs> is that? So if you're in Russell Square, you need to come to the southeast corner of Russell Square. Friday to Sunday, 12 to 5. Friday to Sunday, 12 to 5, for some amazing homemade tiramisu in these iconic London telephone boxes. And here on Great Russell Street, we've got a phone box that's been repurposed into a gallery. In fact, I guess it's the world's smallest gallery. Let's go take a look. Here we go. This is the art that you can purchase. There's a QR code here, which you can scan to get all the details about this art. And here it is. It's up and down. Um, obviously it's not on this side, this is the door side. This is a K6 telephone box and all this is for sale. Right, off to find the next repurposed telephone box. Here at the back of the Burlington Arcade um, on Burlington Gardens you've got these three repurposed phone boxes. Um, they've been repurposed by the Royal Academy of Arts into these art installations which is pretty cool like these SOS is flashing on the inside save our souls it should be SOP save our phone boxes that's what I think anyway and this has got to be London's tallest telephone kiosk I've never seen anything like it this amazingly tall telephone box is on Hall Road in St John's Wood it's a real eye-catcher. I've never seen anything like it. As you can see, it's got the old Bakelite telephone in it that takes the shillings, the six pences. And it's really done out in quite a fashionable way, transporting you back to a bygone era. But to be honest, I have no idea why it's here. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments down below. If you really enjoyed the episode, why not subscribe? Until next time, stay tuned.